drawing snack. No! <laughs> Dad, stop <laughs> trying. Let me try. No, Let me try. We have already tried and it's terrible. Hello, loves. We're stop trying. talking. We're going to try British snacks and candy. And I'm going to speak in my normal accent now. Good. <laughs> Go Howdy fellow foodie friends, welcome to Who's Your Daddy? Thanks for joining us. So today we're trying snacks from the UK. Now we have a box from a company called Universal Yums and they send us a box every month from a different country. So this month we got something from the UK. If you would like your own Universal Yums box, they have three sizes, a small, a medium, and a large. We got the medium size box. You can check the link down in the description to get your very own Universal Yums box yourself. It's really fun. You should do it. You should. Yes, okay. Fun. So, let's go ahead and crack into this box. Crack. So, when you open a Universal Yums box, you get this nice little map right here. Now, do you guys know what countries are in the United Kingdom? Europe. England. <laughs> England. No. Scotland. Scottish. Engl Belfast. England, Scotland, Wales. Oh, that says Belfast. Yeah, in Northern <laughs> Ireland. And then on the back of this map, you can rank the snacks and you can even vote on the upcoming box. Would you guys rather have Netherlands, Italy, or Germany? Italy. Germany. Okay. German chocolate. Italy, German. We've had German chocolates before. That was good. I would like to try Italy. That would be cool. <laughs> it also has some rejects that they didn't include in this box. And then they also have a book like this that has some information about the UK in here. It also has a recipe for something called cottage pie, which is like a beef <laughs> pie, like a pot pie yeah. with mashed potatoes. It's like a fat pie. Yeah. <laughs> Onions and carrots and garlic. It takes the cottage off of people's legs. Every month they have a different recipe from the country that we're doing. And there's some trivia questions that we can look at later. And then there's some information about all the snacks. And there's all the nutrition facts. Adele. And there's some information about some famous things that have come from the UK and some famous music. Some group called the Beatles. Have you ever heard of them? I think they're from the, the UK. The Beatles. <laughs> Adele, Never Led Zeppelin, Tom Jones, Elton John, The Who. They've all come from UK. That's pretty cool. Wait. And here's some information about the different breakfasts in the different countries. In Wales, they have seaweed for breakfast. In Scotland, she sheep liver. In Northern mm. Ireland, they have boiled pig's blood. In England, they have potato and cabbage patties. Hmm. Actually, that sounds good. And there's some English slang. Huh. Budge up, fanny about, kip, knackered, and cod swallop. If you know what any of those words mean, leave a comment down below. Yeah. So that, that's pretty cool. Let's see what these snacks are like, though. Let's go ahead and break into them. First of all, we have some honey mustard potato chips. Or, as they say in England, crisps. You guys know the difference between chips and crisps, don't you? Chips are fries. No, in, yeah, in England, chips are fries. And they call these crisps. These are thick. Yeah. Oh, very mustardy. Not enough honey mustard, too mustard. Oh, it burned in my lip. <laughs> Yeah, it's too much mustard. Whoa, baby. They shouldn't call it honey mustard. They should just call it mustard. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> a little bit. It's Yeah, it's kind of sweet, but it, it tastes, tastes like too honey. mustardy. Like, it tastes like Dijon mustard, like hot. It does. Spicy Th mustard. Those are just okay. I, I give those about a six. And it wasn't even the fact that it was spicy. You just put it on your tongue, and it, like, stung it. And it, like, wasn't spicy at all. It was just, like... Stung it. It stung your tongue. It was a wasp. That was, like, a five. <laughs> yeah, five. Sure, five. Like okay, that. so next we have some more crisps. These are Ashmore cheese and onion. Now cheese and onion is a very popular flavor in England. I know that. Oh, I didn't know that. It is. It's like our sour cream and onion, I think. Cheese and onion. Cheese and onion chips. Mmm. Smells like something from my childhood, but I can't quite place it. Like one of our toys or something. I used to soak your toys in cheese and onions. <laughs> Remember that, Emily? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. And us, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Just a bath of cheese and onions. These are a lot better. These are very good. They taste kind of like sour cream and onion with a cheesy twist. 
They're really good. Mm -hmm. I like these. I give those about an eight. Yum. Oh. Mm -hmm. Eight. Hey, I want another one. Eight. Nine. Now. I'd be different. We have one more flavor of crisps or chips. These are lamb and mint. What? Lamb and mint. Made from potatoes born and raised in Wales. <laughs> no, they, they, they smell kind of minty. That's different. <laughs> Bethany. Anytime someone fixes a leg of lamb, they always have mint jelly with it. It smells like pure mint. With a little bit of like a... Lammy? With a, a little, lammy flavor A little piece yeah. of lamb. It's like a natural mint flavor. It's very herbally. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's, it's not good. bad. Man, that's sheep, not lamb. <laughs> Lambs and sheep. Lamb chop. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> like I do like mint, but I don't like it on potato chips. That's yeah. weird. I liked it a lot. I think it was ten. I, ten, I, ten, 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 ten. I give those about an eight. Too. Uh, They're good. Six, six, six and a half. Seven, no, just six. six. There's one more savory thing. Pickled Roll onion rings. Don't skip those. They're crying out with flavor. They're, yeah. <laughs> They're crying. Oh Eat me. I'm onion. <laughs> Johnny's pickled onion rings crying out with flavor with natural coloring. Pickled onion rings. Aren't these cute? They're like Aww. little funyuns. They're tiny. Oh, you that smells like for vinegar. Oh my gosh, yeah. It smells like pickled. <laughs> well, I like them. <laughs> oh, they're, wow. They're really good. They're the consistency of a soft funyun. But the flavor of salt and vinegar chips. Oh my god. No, I like the no, not even, no, not the flavor of it's salt like and vinegar chips. This flavor of vinegar. The yeah. flavor of just vinegar it's and like pickle. Salt and vinegar. <laughs> I and like the, I, I like the consistency of them, but the taste is terrible. Uh uh. Taste is amazing. I They're like very, them. very flavorful. My dad likes any any food in the world. <laughs> I don't like vinegar. They're very flavorful. When I was a child them. growing up in England. I put that them on my have, fingers. Those might not be from England. They're they're from England or Scotland or Wales or something. When I was from, a child growing up in UK. England or Scotland or Wales or wherever. Oh, Northern Ireland. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> three. I give those a three. I give them a one. I give them like a four. I give them a ten. Those are tasty. I if like If I those. liked vinegar, I might give them a higher number, but ew, vinegar. <laughs> ew. Ooh, I love vinegar. Stop. We got some chewy bonbons. These are... Rhubarb and custard. <laughs> there are two flavors. One's yellow custard, one's pink rhubarb. They look like they're gonna be sour. They might be. They're half pink, half yellow. Oh no, they're not sour. Chewy, huh? Chewy they're hard. Bonbons. They're hard chewy though. Oh, they're very chewy. They're kind of like coated with some kind of powder on the outside. But the powder has no flavor. Like, it's not sour. No, I think it's powdered sugar. Or sweet or anything, yeah. That's good. I like that. I like it, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, rhubarb, a majority of the world's rhubarb used to come from the UK. Mm. They had a monopoly on the world's rhubarb market for a long time. Our rhubarb comes from Brandy's backyard. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brandy's That's there. Very good. Thank you. All right, those are pretty good. Light, fruity flavor. Mm-hmm. I like them um, a lot. Ten. Really chewy though. Ten. Really At the chewy. end, there's a little bit of sour. Slightly sour. I got a yeah. little bit of sour throughout the whole thing because of the rhubarb. Mm. I Ten. Give, I give those about a seven. Eight. Oh, Ten. my turn. Seven. Ten. Okay. Now we can have some fudge. Clotted cream fudge. <laughs> Ew, I don't like that word. Clotted? Clotted? Hey, clotted, horrible. clotted cream is really popular in the UK. It just sounds gross, though. The only thing I can think of when, with clotting is, is blood, blood and clots. clots. Yeah. They put clotted cream on their um, scones, I think. Isn't oh, clotted sorry, cream... Um, Oh, oh! I love the oh. clotted cream. They look like little, just little caramels. Yeah, isn't it a caramel? Mm. It's not fudge. Mm. Maybe that's what they call caramel. Oh my gosh. Those that are so, so good. good. They're just like little caramel candies. They taste kind of caramely. I love the consistency of them. They're mm -hmm. so soft. Mm. They it's taste like, like caramel creams. Yeah. It's like chewing on a cloud. Very mm -hmm. light and fluffy. Those are good. I give those a 10. 10. Good job. Those 20 are million. 10. Yeah. So um, they send us something called a yum bag for the little small candies that don't have their own big wrapper. And this yum bag has three different types of candy. There's 
Bristow's Bucks Fizz Chews. They're fizzy orange and champagne chews. We got fizzy lemon hard candies. And then we've got some chocolate limes, lime hard candies with Ooh. chocolate filling. Ooh, so that which, sounds good. Which, which one do we want to try first? Orange. Uh, so these are fizzy orange and champagne chews. So these are. Mmm. 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 These are very orangey mm. and very chewy, kind of like a a chewy taffy, like a little, kind of like a saltwater taffy almost. It's good. I like it. A little it. bit softer. It's a, yeah, it's a little softer, not quite as chewy. I give those about an eight. Mhm. Mm mm. Ten. Six. I don't like the fizzy flavor. It does kind of have like a little I like soda y flavor. It's got a little tang to it. It kind of tastes like orange soda. Okay, so next one we're gonna try is the lemon, fizzy lemon hard candy. That's sherbet lemon. No. Leave us a comment down below. Do you say sherbet or sherbert? Midwest sherbet. Bird? Sherbert. A lot Sherbet. Of... Sherbert. Sherbet. <laughs> Sherbert. Bet. Burt. A lot. Bet. Burt. Bet. <laughs> so a lot of people in the Midwest me. say Sherbert. We don't put the extra R in though. We read it like it is Sherbet. But I think we're in the minority here anyway. This says you already know what Sherbet is. It's a colorful fruity ice cream dessert. But as this section teases, there's a different meaning in the UK. So I didn't know that. In the UK, sherbet is the name of a fizzy powder found inside many tangy candies. So there's a fizzy powder inside. There's some in mine. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. <laughs> Mine's fizzy. It, it also says in the UK, you might hear a local ask his mate if he wants to hit the pub for a sherbet. That's because sherbet is also slang for beer. Hey, mate. You want to get some sherbet? Won't. Won't. You want, want to get? Won't get some sherbet? Our British accent's terrible. No, so, no, his is. British <laughs> accent is terrible. Like, say it right there, matey. <laughs> you gotta go, say it right there. You wanna hit the pulp and get a sherbet? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, so these sherbet lemon candies, they were light in flavor, crunchy. Like, I I thought they were okay. Let's I try give this them, one. I give them about a seven. Wait, what do you give the lemon sherbets? They were like a five. A seven. I just like lemon hard candy. So these last ones are chocolate limes. These are from Scotland. 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 It's a hard lime flavored shell with a smooth chocolate center. Normally I like lime really well. This is a weird flavor. I don't taste the chocolate very well. It's a chewy chocolate I center. No. It's like a Tootsie Roll pop, but mm -hmm. lime flavored Tootsie Roll pop. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not digging the chocolate and lime together. It's, that's a little weird. You're I'm not like digging it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I only give that about a four. I like it. Seven. If you've ever had a lime flavored Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Pop. No. Tootsie Roll. Oh, yeah. Have I you know had the lime yes. one? Uh -huh. That's what that tastes like. No, it I doesn't. Know. That's not at all what those taste like. Yes, it is. No. no not it's not like, even close. I would say a lime flavored Tootsie Pop because it's got the chocolate center. Yeah, Tootsie Pop, not Tootsie Roll. Yes, not even like, close. Now on to some biscuits. These don't even actually say biscuits. They're light and crumbly mm -hmm. shortbread rounds. So I'm guessing they're a type of biscuits. We would call them cookies. But I, I'm assuming that these shortbread rounds you would dip in your tea. This just looks like a little shortbread cookie. Ooh. Ah. This yeah, that's be, really good. I would, love shortbread. This would be Beota's favorite cookie ever in the whole entire world. She so loves very so plain, plain things. Yeah, these are it's like the pulverones that we had. I miss you, Beota. So these are really crumbly and light. I think they're good. They remind me of the pulverones that we had. Mm-hmm. It's really, oh, really good. good. I say 10. Mm -hmm. I give it about a six. Nine. It'd be good with coffee. Eight or nine. Good Very with, good. With yep. coffee or tea, just nice, plain, buttery shortbread. More not key. Mm -hmm. All right, now for the penultimate one. This is yummy banana toffee. It says whack and then unwrap. Wait, Ooh, so whack it? Whack it. Ah! <laughs> oh. Whoa. Hey, it worked. It's yeah. like the chocolate oranges. Those are big in the UK too, where you whack the chocolate oranges. Oh, chocolate oranges. I mm. love oh, those. Are super good. Mm. It has an amazing flavor, but it's way too hard. Oh my tooth. Oh, did it hurt your tooth really? Mm -hmm. Way too hard. It hurt. Yeah. Why? Yummy banana toffee. Really? It's really, really good. 
This very has got banana-y. this has got a really good flavor, but it's very hard and chewy. Mm-hmm. I love the flavor of banana. This is like a banana oh, laffy taffy, only mm-hmm. well, only yeah. like with a with a caramely co- t- I mean taffy. Taste yeah, it's kind of like banana caramel laffy taffy. Oh. It's like the consistency of a milk dud. It's that hard chewy caramel flavor. Mm-hmm. You might break a tooth off, but it's good. I give that about an eight, eight and a half. Yeah. Nine. That was so good. Very tasty. Ten. Eight. <laughs> Finally, our last one is called a toffee flapjack. Do you know what a flapjack is in the UK? Pancake. No. Here in the US, a flapjack and a pancake are the same thing. How about a smoke and a pancake? How about a bacon and a pancake? (laughs) I think in the UK, a flapjack is more like a cake. That's what it looks like. Looks like some kind of cake or brownie type thing. It looks like a blonde brownie. A blondie. A blondie. Yeah, it looks like a blondie. That's got a delicious toffee flavored topping. That is a delicious flavor overall. That's so good. It tastes like a toffee, caramely flavored banana blondie, bread. Blondie brownie. Yeah, that's that's, that's good. Really good. I give that a ten. Ten. I like British flapjacks. Ten. It's, is there oatmeal in there? There I might be oatmeal. It mm-hmm. tastes it's like there might good. be oatmeal in there. If you know how to make a British flapjack, let us know down in the comments. I'm gonna make them. Yeah. That's so good. That would be good. Oh. All right, so. Out of all of those, out of all of those, what was your favorite? The toffee flapjack was definitely my favorite. The yeah, clotted the, cream. The clotted creams and the toffee flapjack were really... Oh, and I the like The clotted creams, the banana toffee. These and, two. And the pickled onion rings. So what was the worst? The pickled, the pickled onion, onion rings. No, I love the pickled oh, onion rings. They were disgusting. So what was the worst? What do you guys... You said the, the pickled, pickled onion, onion rings. Ring. The pickled onion the, rings. What was the weirdest? Lamb and mint chips. Lamb yeah. and mint chips were kind of weird. should not be on chips. No, oh, it Chris. should. It tasted no. really good, but it was weird. No, it was really, it, no. It was, really good. It was kind of weird. I don't know. Ew, All right. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Because we do all kinds of food and travel related content and we have lots of fun with the family. Um, you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos. Oh. So, we will see you again next time. Bye. Love you. It's me, Harry Styles. Pip Pip Cheerio from the UK. Bye. We're drawing some British snacks. <laughs> More terrible. British accents, terrible. <laughs> I love Fanny Pony Freddy. Uh, I love Fanny Pony Freddy. Freddy. Hello, Fanny <laughs> Pony friends. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're gross. Ow! Hey, so every month. you right. So. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's get it started. And the you. longer you. They're, yeah. uh, <laughs> they're please crying. Please eat me. I'm on you. Bethany's hair is green from the pool chlorine. Oh. Bethany's hair is green from the pool chlorine. Okay, next thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. Those guys. Okay. So there's two that. So, so now that we Can I dry- get the strawberry soda? <gasps> yeah, I'll have the strawberry soda too. <gasps> a lot of people. Bert! <laughs> you guys really make this difficult for me to edit, don't you? Seriously. Yeah. If you wouldn't talk so freaking much, <laughs> and let's don't have fun. This. Let's go war hey, some laundry. Thanks, <laughs> Fizzy. Bethany turned into an alien. Huh. So, Is that what aliens look like? It, <laughs> what do I do with this? Chew it up. My name's Crystal and I have a small mouth. <laughs> and you I know, can't swallow pills. I throw them all up. <laughs> I do not throw them up. Okay. Gotcha! <laughs> can we eat this last? Magic! Yes. Are, Are we ready, ready now? We ready? <laughs> no, but I can't guess it. Oh, yeah. You clapped and got smut on my face. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, Bethany, your hair is so crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's only... God, you okay. What the crap? They've never been this irritating before. I gotta give it to you. You, you give me problems! <laughs> Nacho has jumped on me like 20 times and he's like scratching a hole in my leg. Alright, now for the penultimate one. Penultimate! Penultimate! Welcome home! Mm. Hey, now sit down. Seriously, we're almost done. I hate you, Yasmin. I hate you, Yasmin. I hate you, Yasmin. (laughs) (laughs) The 
Yasmin, did you get all of our Snapchats from last night of us crying and saying I hate you, Yasmin? The Bratz movie what sucks, but... Right okay, did you can you guys stop staring at me? I bit my cheek. I'm in pain. Leave me alone. My finger is you were, stuck. You said way. that over the top of me talking. It's stuck. Sit. I can't get it out. Let me finish this. Sit okay, let me stand up for the rest of the video. <laughs> so, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. We will see you again next time. Jack farted. We're gonna see you in May. Oh. So we'll see you again next time. Bye. Love you. This I never ever want to make a video with you again. It's so hard to edit. <laughs>